I know. Let's talk about the elephant in the room or the lack thereof. The beard is gone. My daughters won't look at me, my sons laugh at me, but let's talk about purpose. John 15, these are just a few thoughts that might bring you into an understanding of your purpose. The text says, you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. John 15 and 3. In one sense, mankind might be said to resemble a dish towel. Humanity's unique and specific usage encompassed the special task of washing dishes and countertops. But how many dish towels end up being used to, say, wash down cabinets, the jelly stain from the refrigerator, the water stain from the rice boiling over onto the stove top, or to scoop up the crumbs that fell from the stove to the floor? Then, of course, you think, well, while I'm down here, I might as well wipe the gravy stain from the floor. From dish wiping to floor scrubbing. In its new marred state, the dish towel once designated for cleaning dishes can no longer be used for its intended purpose because it has been used for purposes less than what it was originally intended for. Its intended purpose was only slightly changed, but it was changed enough to alter its unique purposes. The dish towel was still used to clean, but used out of its area. This small alteration had massive implications for its further use. How many women, how many men have had their purposes slightly altered, misplaced, if you will, which in turn displaced them and rendered them out of service. The only redemption for the stained dish towel is found in the laundry room. You are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Jesus, gladly, is the proud owner of a laundry service. In 2 Kings 5, God washed Naaman and he was cleansed from leprosy. In Acts 8, God washed the Ethiopian eunuch and he was cleansed. Here, Jesus offers to do the same for you. He offers something that tide, all, or gain cannot. He offers complete cleansing from the inside out, a soul cleansing. He can change the tide of your life by forgiving you all your sins and you will gain eternal life. Jesus offers to cleanse you. Do you feel dirty? Have you fallen from your intended purposes? Are you still a towel but feel unworthy to bathe in the bubbles? Still a woman but no longer a lady? Still a man but 
lacking manhood, moving from a dish towel to a dish rag can happen gradually. No change in composition, just a modification of usage, a slight shift uh, from the sink to the floor, a shortfall from the countertop to the floor, a fall from grace, if you will. The only redemption for you is found in Jesus's laundry room. You are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Open God's word. Let him cleanse you from your guilt and sin and restore you to what you were meant to be. Live well, hope well. Oh! Uh -huh.